Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna sidestep this question a tiny bit because I think people are doing too many advanced things with PPC and they're forgetting like some really core basics. Mm. And I think the number one basic that everybody messes up is they don't negate keywords on a weekly basis. And like on your broad match and your auto campaigns, which have been forgotten, like everybody's like exact match, exact match and phrase match and back to exact match and broad match modifier plus signs and all kinds of advanced things or uh, just an allocation of budgetary constraints, right? Broad match and auto campaigns can outperform exact match substantially, not only from an A cost standpoint, but from a, from a standpoint of impressions, from a standpoint of, of actual sales. But the thing is, is the best way to manage those campaigns is through negations. So going in and negating once a week and you know deleting that one keyword that's got a 63% A cost on the auto campaign shouldn't be on the auto campaign if your target's 40%, for example. Uh, what happens is you'll hear a lot of experts say, oh, you use auto campaigns to discover keywords and then you negate the good keywords off of them and then you make exact match campaigns. They're like, why would you do that? Why would you literally increase your ACoS 25%? Leave it in the auto campaign and let it keep producing. It will produce at a better ACoS in the auto and broad campaign because people are underbidding those. And, and when it gets into the exact match campaign, everybody is bidding those higher. And so you're actually losing money to, to, to use an auto campaign just as a discovery device. So like something like this, this core thing we just talked about could literally lower somebody's ACoS 3% with 30 minutes of effort today and go in and go do that, right? And so could you use AI to, to figure out what keywords to negate? Absolutely. Could you download a bulk sheet and say, AI, tell me what keywords I should negate? Yes, and it would do it in like three minutes instead of 30. But just going in and looking at those search term reports and figuring out like, where should I be focused? I'll give one other small tip uh, that I think is another basic that is ignored. I think a lot of times people manage PPC down to the campaign level and budget based on campaign. And what they really should be doing is budgeting to the keyword and managing bids at the keyword level. You shouldn't let any campaign go out of budget unless it's a new campaign less than seven days old and you don't really know what's gonna happen. But after that, once it's been optimized, never tap out, excuse me, never tap out on the campaign budget. Let the bids go as far as they can for your dollar and, and manage down to the bid level on the keyword, not at the campaign budget level. Hey, it's Ankita Patil here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to Salarap's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon, expert tips and some how-to guides that will make sure you're winning on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.